boy, if your nose itches in these things, you're in trouble, right? Yeah. So this is Justin, my friend and neighbor. <laughs> so tell them what you have there. What what do you what does a beginner bee person need to start with? Okay, so if you're wanting to get in beekeeping, you can get bees uh, usually one or two ways. You can buy a package of bees like this right here. And they'll come with three pounds of bees, a queen, and some syrup. Or if you know somebody that's selling nukes, you can buy a nuke, and that's what this is right here. It could be a little more, ex a little bit more expensive, but they're already started up. It's an established hive. Yeah, so it's five frames the bees, brood, and honey. And this one's not hardly beefed up yet, but it will be. But that's what you can do that too. That's this is. If you want to get going fast, this is probably the, the best the way. The best way. Yeah, but you may not have anybody selling nukes around here, so. Right. Uh, but you can get these shipped from, uh, this came from Georgia, so you can get them shipped right to your house. But you went to pick that up, didn't you? Well, Jared did. Okay. Yeah. I, I, the ones I had over there, I had shipped to my house, and they had hardly any dead bees in there, so. Uh, and, and then you'll have to get a hive, so you'll need, I mean, most people started out with a 10-frame hive. This is a deep body. And a bottom board, mm -hmm. and you'll need a lid. Mm -hmm. and then you'll need 10 frames. And most people will just buy empty frames that look like this. They have a little bit of wax already on them, but they don't have any comb. Because a new beekeeper probably ain't going to have any comb. But if you right. do. But yeah. if you're an experienced beekeeper. Yeah, if, you've been, if you know somebody that's got some that would give you some, I mean, it'd be a whole lot look better to go ahead and already have comb made. Look at that. That's amazing. And that's the real deal right there. Just no honey in it. So have you spun the honey out of that or? This one? Um, yeah, probably. Actually, all these. Yeah, this was honey supers. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yay. So what he's about to do now is introduce. You said that's three pounds? Well, it probably isn't three pounds now. It was three pounds. Okay. It was it three there. pounds originally. Yeah. So it came with a lid on it. It comes like this right here with staples in it. And you just pop that off. And, and then you take the... Yeah, and this is hooked to your queen so you know where she is. And then you got to get your... your and they out. are really... Hold that up. They're really protecting her. Look at that. So she's in the middle of all this. Yeah, I'll right. show you her in a second. Let's see. Now I'm going to slam this down. It's going to look like I'm hurting them, but I'm not hurting them. I'm going to try to get this... See, they've already built wax in there. To make it hard to get the can out. They've been building wax in there because they've been in there for a few days. So I'm gonna get that out and I'm gonna put them back down there. And I'm gonna get this queen out. Okay, so here's our queen. Take this off. And I always check to make sure she's alive. You can see her, I don't know if the camera mm -hmm. can pick it up, but she's got a longer body in there. Put him up close. Yeah, put it, let's see. There you go. And all her little yeah. boyfriends are trying yeah, to protect her. And this is what you got to pay attention to. So on a queen cage, it's going to have a stopper on this end, a cork. And it's going to have a cork on this end. But this is the candy end. So don't open this cork right here. If you open that one, she can be direct release. And if oh. you do that, they'll probably, they may not, but they probably would ball her up and kill her. And then there goes your queen. Oh, so, man. So do not open that one. Leave that so one open it at the other end. Yeah. So this is the candy end. They'll eat on it, and then the bees in the hive will eat on it, and it's like a time-release capsule. And in one to three days, she'll be released. Oh, that's so neat. So you take that one out. Usually I have a, a knife with me. So see, you can see that there you candy go. in oh, there. Oh, yeah. So they'll uh -huh. eat that, and she'll eat that. Yeah. And and they already know her pheromones. She's emitting pheromones. They already know it. They're locked uh -huh. into her, so they're going to go wherever Look she's at. Them. at. Yeah. They are really so, locked into her. That is so yeah. amazing. So I'm going to put this right here for right now. No. So this is just how I do it. You can do it different ways, but I knock them back down again and then just put them down in here. Oh my gosh. And they're going to stay right there with that queen. And they're not going anywhere. No, nope, they won't go anywhere. They'll go right down to her. See, they already made this is what new wax looks like. They've been in there for a little bit. It's oh, just, that is beautiful. It's, it's, yeah, it's beautiful white wax. Look at this, y'all. This is brand new. Oh, my goodness. I am covered. I'm not a queen, so y'all can get off of me. Yeah, I'll, I'll smoke you over here. But they, um, these won't be aggressive. 
to. They'll just stay right here. See how they're coming back to the clean. Now, what do you do with this? Uh, some people keep it and melt it down and use it. You can put it back on your, when you melt it down, you put it back on your, your frames yeah. or you can make candles out of it. You can or I can steal kind of, this and take it home with me yeah, and show it to. Some people just chew on it. Josie and them will love seeing this. That is so cool. I don't want so, the bee though. The <laughs> okay. bees can stay here. So see, you see what these bees are doing? See oh what? man, they're going they're here. They're fanning. And so they're trying to pick up the queen's pheromones. So see, all of them's got their fans going. And uh, I'm gonna put okay. this, I'm gonna show you where you put the queen. This is the coolest thing I've ever seen. Can you, I hope y'all can see this. <laughs> so you remove the cord. And I'm gonna knock these bees off real quick, just so you can see. And so you want to put the queen in the middle and you want to put her face down where they can see they got to feed the queen the, the, i don't think the queen eats herself they get honey out nectar and whatever, they feed her and they feed her yeah so we put i put it right in the dead center and pull it, just like that put it down like that right there flush so you're licking there you go high. and then they will all go mm -hmm. to her and then in one to three days They'll eat that candy out and she'll come out and then probably in another day she'll start laying eggs. So I wouldn't bother this hive for a couple days. At what least. I, yeah, what I would do is just put the lid on it. I Some people don't believe in feeding sugar water, but I, I do it here. I think you should. I'm going to feed them. I got it right over here. Because uh, there's no there's nothing in this hive. There are foragers in okay, here. Okay, okay. But on a day like today where they're not going to get out and forage much because it's yeah. raining, you're going to need to feed them. So I'm gonna cool. put some feet on them. I make my own uh, pollen patties. I'm gonna put a pollen patty on them because they don't have any pollen in here. You make uh, your own pollen patties? Yeah, they're right over there. Now you're gonna have to tell us how to and do I that. Can, yeah, I can tell your subscribers. Uh, it's not, I, I, I can't take credit for the recipe. It's not my recipe, but uh, well. um, I make my own uh, honey be healthy and my own pollen patties <laughs> just because it's a lot cheaper. Wow. So, and that's all you gotta do. You put that on there and and you just uh, put the lid on and let them yeah you can you uh if, if you want bees to move like i don't want to smash them all mm -hmm. so just put some smoke on them and they're fanning <laughs> to pick up her scent yeah so that's gonna yeah and then i you put your lid on now will they let bees from other hives in no mm -mm. No, just everybody's yeah there. all of them stay in they're locked into their own queen each one of these go to their own now there is you know, when you get into a dearth period in the summer where there's not a lot of nectar and stuff, these bigger hives can come over and rob honey, and they do do that. And you got oh, they do. Them. Yeah. Oh wow. Yeah, so then you got a bee fight. Yeah, it's a real, real irritating. I don't have that happen much, but uh, uh, you definitely can. So what happens when they rob the honey? Well, then that like they that would, they would do it like let's just deteriorates say, that hive. Yeah, they won't have any honey. Yeah. Oh. So that's why you, you kind of got to watch. So it. there's bullies in the hay yeah. in the. If you bee come out world. here midsummer and open this lid. And, and they can smell that honey. They'll be coming over here a lot of times. So you just gotta watch it when you're working uh, in the middle of the summer or when there's really not any nectar. Oh wow! And what they call a dearth period. Dearth. Yeah. So and then I, you just get you these zones. I do. You can you can do either one. You can do uh, outside feeders mm -hmm. like this that just go right there. And I, I think that's the easiest. Oh, some, it just. Yeah. yeah. Some, some people prefer uh, frame feeders. This goes inside the hive. So instead of having a frame, you would just set this in there and they would just eat from inside. In place of one of the frames. Yeah, and it, yeah, and it holds a whole lot more so you wouldn't have to fill it up as much. So these are nice. I just got out of using them. I just, uh, I like these because I, when I have a, when I get a jar in there, I got binoculars in my house right there and I can just take my binoculars. Oh, you can see. I, I can see how much is in there. So you fill this up with what? With sugar water. So when you first get them. That's dark, well, sugar water. <laughs> I put, I had a little bit of honey left in the jar and I didn't want to throw it away, so I just of put it in not. there. <laughs> but, uh, I just, so I just do, you know, half sugar, half water. You don't have to boil it. Some people boil it. You just mix it and. I get hot water because it mixes a little faster and then you can't even tell it's in there. And that then, is so nice. Um, I do it usually in a five gallon bucket just because I have so many hives. Right. Uh, How many hives do you have here? I, I usually try to run uh, 12 or about 10 production hives where I actually harvest honey off of. Uh, and in the summers, I'll get up to about 20 and doing nukes and just sell them to people. Yeah, locally. you're going to fix me a nuke. Yeah, yeah. and uh, but uh, you get more than now, really, you get more than 10. It's a lot of work. For if one you, person. if you, and you work a full time job. And I have a full time job. So, and you have a new baby. I have a new baby. How old? Uh, he's two months, two almost months, three months old. Almost three months old. Yeah. 
And how old's your other son? Five. Five. Yeah. And a full-time wife. Yes. <laughs> yes. And a farm. And a farm. I have a cattle farm. I, we have about 37 head here at this farm and uh, probably seven on the creek and another couple on another farm. That's why for new beekeepers, I recommend uh, having one to two hives. And the reason why I say two hives is so you can see how each one of them is doing. So you can gauge if one of them's not doing as good as the other. Mm -hmm. So I started out with one. I wish I would have done two. Um, but so you can compare and right, learn. Say, well, I'm sure. I wonder why this one don't have as much honey stored or as much. So fruit. if you do a nuke like this, mm -hmm. do you sell the box as well, or yeah, do you? Uh, right here, this is what I do now. People do it differently. Um, I buy these easy nukes. Oh yeah. Made out of this, they come flat. You build them. It takes about two minutes. And there you go. I put them in this. And I sell it at the box and all. So you literally just close this door. Close and this how door. long can they live in that? This? That's like plastic or cardboard, yeah. isn't it? Yeah, right now when the temperatures are, you know, most of the time staying above 50 or not getting below freezing, they'll be fine in this. Uh, I mean, you wouldn't want to overwinter or anything. It wouldn't, they wouldn't survive in this, no. But this is great for selling news. For just getting started, though, you could leave that in there until you got your yeah, hive and, purchased and set up. And... Right, and then you can transfer, and I do that all the time, transfer a 5 frame to a 10 frame. Oh. Or, uh, or if you have one like that and you wanted to just stay with five, you like just this, yeah, keep smaller that, one. Keep adding supers to it if you just wanted to pick up five frames. That is a neat idea. So you could use the five established frames in that and that, to put, put and then mix it with new frames, right. and it would help them get started. Right. Oh. And I do that sometimes. Uh, I go. I hope y'all are enjoying this as much as <laughs> I am because this is cool. Like, uh, like if this one starts struggling, I'll go over here to one of these big production hives and steal a frame or two of brood. And I'll put it in this one, and that'll boost them up a lot. And that's what's good about having multiple hives, is, is you can exchange resources like that. Oh. So I'm gonna put just a little. Get a look at this. Are they just waiting to go uh, in or hunting for food? On that, I'd say. Oh. And so that's why they're on that, because that's where the queen was. Right. This there. is the. I can't do anything in bee gloves. Look at this, y'all. And just get you some quart jars or pint jars, whatever you want. Get some of these lids that have holes in it. I'm sorry, that is just the neatest thing ever. So you just using yeah. a regular old quart yeah, jar, you can or use cannon the jar, plastic ones or glass ones. I got both. Uh, get you uh, a lid that has, and they'll come with those packages with those plastic oh, okay. feeders. Okay. Yeah, you just put that on instead of your other one. This is pretty old, so it's. Can you turn it upside down? And see, it'll, <gasps> it'll seal off. See. Then the bees will just. They'll go up there and just. In there. Have them a little picnic, yeah. won't they? Put that on there, and I'm gonna put a pollen patty, and then we'll be done with this one okay. until I'll come back and check it in uh, three days and make sure they release that queen because if they haven't released her in three days i'll go ahead and direct release her oh okay yeah. into the hive into the hive yeah i'll pull that cork out and let her go but they almost like have eaten that candy out and this is a pollen patty a pollen and what patty. does that do what so, is it pollen patty so there's pollen sugar honey uh i put uh vegetable oil to keep it moist and then i put a little honey be healthy in there uh, just as a stimulant and this is what they will feed to the larva whenever she starts laying eggs and, and the egg will change to a larva and then they'll start feeding it. Uh, it's called, so now where do you get pollen? It's called bee bread. Do you just buy it? Yeah, I got, you buy it in a, a pail. Like I get it in about this right here. It looks just like pollen. It's yellow. It looks oh, just, wow. I, I can show it to you. I got some in the house. I would have to keep yeah. that away from Kent <laughs> yeah. because... <laughs> And you just make you some slices where they can get to it. You put it. You don't have to put it on wax paper. I do it just because it's easier to take from the house. Right. Um, but just do that. Open up your hive. Put it right in the middle because that's where everybody's going to be at. And then that'll be good. And that'll just that'll feed them. Yeah, and that's all you got to do is keep keep this going. Uh, when it gets empty, you fill it back up. Look at them already on it. Yeah, they're on already the outside. Be, these these haven't probably been. I don't even know. They may have drank all their. Yeah, so this is empty. So they had already drank all that. So they're probably hungry. So what <laughs> is that? Just sugar water in that can? Yeah, this is, is that just what they. This is uh, this is a big uh, operation. They probably use pro sweet. It's uh, I don't buy it. It's expensive. Oh, okay. If you can get some pro sweet, get some pro sweet. I, I just do sugar water. 
<laughs> we try to do stuff cheap around here. Of course. Um, but I would put a, a a brick or a rock or whatever you got on top of this just so when storms come, you know, it wouldn't Don't blow up. Yeah. Do you have to worry about predators? Uh, I have not had any problems here with armadillos, skunks, and squirrels or anything. The only thing I have is when I, I do overwinter some of my empty boxes and I have had mice get in there and make nests. And so you need, you do need to put a screen or something there to keep them out. Oh. Uh, but we don't have, I don't think we have any bears around here, but places like down in Georgia and stuff where they do, you, you do have to put electric fence around it. But you don't have to worry about that around here. No, not that I. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't think. I hope not. <laughs> So, that is so neat. And then I, this is just what That's I did. That's really not a lot of work. It really just is. Just that one. Yeah. Get your package in. It is that fast and that easy. That's why beekeeping is so fun. But that's the easy part. The hard part comes in uh, keeping these alive all through the year and through the winter. Keeping them alive. Yeah. And so uh, you'll come back and I, I we'll go through a hive. Uh, I'll try to find one of my nicer hives. <laughs> and, and we'll go through and I'll show you the different stages and what you need to look for. Cool. And... Uh, but Do you feed them in the winter? No, they because they kind of go. You need to at least. I usually try to leave maybe? one super of honey, and then I put uh, with this one. This one has one on it, so one of these spacers right here. Oh yeah. And I'll put. Um, I'll take sugar and kind of spritz it with some water and let it harden, and I'll put that on there for emergencies. So if they go through their honey. They'll start and they dead. Need something. But if you put that sugar on there, then they'll have that to go to. And I have saved hives with that, so That's, I do it to all mine. Yeah. But you don't have to. But I think it's good insurance. It's well, just sure. Better. It's Cause, not expensive. Cause either. Then if they don't eat it, I just uh, use it with water and make uh, sugar. Yeah, make the. <laughs> yeah. So it's a win-win. I, I do it. But, but so it's, it's not. I mean, it's initially it's not hard. No. I'm sure the maintenance of it. Keeping them alive. I mean, just like any other animal you have. Yeah, and it, it can get expensive. But, you know, these boxes now are turning you, you know. More and more and more all the time. All the time yeah. Because conservation is finally becoming important to other people. Yeah. Um, I know, personally, uh, I plant pollinator flowers every year. We always plant clover in our hay fields. Not just for our cows, because mm -hmm. of course, of course, the livestock love the clover. Yeah. But the bees, if you ever go in a lot that has crimson clover in it, yeah. I mean, it sounds just like this. Well, they certain they, times of the day. Yeah, they love clover, and some of the I think, and a lot of people think the, some of the best honey comes from the, the clover. Well, we're taking yeah. care of you across yeah, the well, hill. And I put two hundred pounds of it here, so and it's starting to come out. So that and oh. the honey flow is on here in uh, Middle Tennessee. Uh, uh, we got a lot of things blooming, so there is tons of honey. If I open, which well, this is one of my more aggressive hives, so I'm not going to open it. Yeah, thank you. Here. <laughs> but, thank you. Uh, these three boxes are already full of honey. Uh, so they're, wow. They're, and this is a, a really big colony. So. Uh, um, and they're really busy at yeah, work and too. This, and and in this this hive right here, if you got one of these, you could get it up close to this by the end of the year, easy. So uh, you're kidding. If, if you treat it right, you can do it. Few more beekeepers, but uh, the reason why. I, I want to do this video is because, which I'm not the best beekeeper, but I want people to be, uh, you know, beekeepers, not bee havers. You, exactly. You can't buy a box of bees or a new, go stick it out in the yard and not and not look at it uh, for three months. It, it, you can do that, but you probably yeah. won't have any bees. So have you had any, let's see, what do they call them? Mites? Is yeah. that what they call them? So there's two or things. Moths? Uh, wax moths, hive beetles, and varroa mites. That's what you have to look for here in Tennessee. So, and I do do a couple things. So for the hive beetles, and I, we might see a hive beetle when I go through that hive and I can show you what one is, but I put these little uh, I don't know, beetle barns in there, and I think it's got a little boric acid tablet in it. Mm -hmm. And I put that on the bottom, and then I have, uh, and I use these little beetle traps. And I, I do love these, and they, a lot of people use these. Oh. And, the, and the bees actually will run those beetles into this. That's, really? Yeah, so put it in the corner. And what's in there? That is, uh, you can I'll do, get open just a second. Yeah. You, you can use, uh, a lot of people use vegetable oil. I use that diatomaceous earth just because... Uh, it's safer for the bees. You know, well, when you take these boxes off and you, you, I tilt them over and put them on the ground, that vegetable oil spills out. See, oh. the, see this don't do that. Right, right. And so I'd be spilling that in the hive and stuff, so I just quit using it. But um, I got some scared all about because you're always missing it. Uh, but I like this one the best because it's got this little hook on it. 
Because when you're going down in here and getting frames, pulling them out, it needs something just to get down in there like that. Oh. So I like it with the hook. That makes perfect sense, yeah, actually. Right. You can just try out different ones and see which one you like. Got one more package for the day, okay. so we're just going to do the same thing we did while I go. So they come protected. Yeah, they come with a lid off. They usually come off better than that. <laughs> of course. Nothing ever works great when you're trying to capture the magic, right? Okay, and I'm going to knock them down. And they don't mind that too bad. No, I... no, they got an exoskeleton, so. And these have already mm -hmm. built up some wax, too, so. There we go. Oh, man. Let me... <laughs> it is really stuck, isn't it? There we go. Okay. Yeah, hold on to the queen, knock them back down. Get this up out. And put the lid back on it so they don't come out and follow her. Yeah. Take that thing off. And she still has a lot to. Yeah, and I inspect Oh, she's it. been eating on that. Yeah. You uh, can tell yeah. a little more on that yeah, one than you could just, the other. And I didn't tell you what these are. Uh, most people around here, and that, what you can get are Italian bees, and that's mostly what I got. But these two packages are Carniolian, or we, I think we just call them Carnies. So they're a darker bee, and they're usually, some people say they're a little a little calmer than Italian. I don't, I've never had them, so I don't know, but that, that's why I went, got them in one. And they're darker. I don't know. If you can see her good on there, but she's a darker queen. I'll show you an Italian queen, and they're usually pretty light. Look at the bee on my phone. <laughs> and then remember, just take your cork out. On the, not on the, on the end, she's. <laughs> yeah, on the sugar side. On the sugar side. And you really need to have you a little razor blade. I got one in my pocket, but it's. Getting to your pocket. Yeah. <laughs> I may have to go get that. Try your little. Try that, yeah. Maybe. Oh, okay, yeah. Ah, I, look. That does two things. <laughs> okay. <laughs> so I. So I'm gonna go ahead and just put her face down like we did in the middle frame. Put these over. And you have some of both in here. Some that yeah. already have a little comb on them, and some that just need to be. Yeah, so, uh, some of them are just blanks, and some of them have comb. And then I got plastic and wood. I run both here. You can buy wood. You can, plastic's cheaper. Mm -hmm. That's why I use it. Yeah. Uh, but you can do either or. And they don't care. Uh, I, uh, some people might say there's, but I don't. I haven't found a difference. Okay. Uh, the bees don't care yeah. is what I mean. Right. I, I don't think they do. Uh, so you squish her up there, yeah. and then when you dump the, them in, they're going to be, oh, hello, bees. And then there's a dog fight across the street. <laughs> Just jump my dress that. Face in the that is the most fascinating thing ever, Justin. <laughs> I just try to get them out of there. And what don't come out? Mm -hmm. I just lay it over here, and they'll come out. Because they'll go right to they'll their go queen. Right to queen. And see, they made my eggs too, so I'll get that out of there. Don't need that. Oh wow. See, there's a drone right there. Where? Where, where, where? Right here. See how <laughs> the black one? The, the dark black, one? Yeah, he's see how much bigger he is. Holy cow. That's the ones that mates with the queens. Oh, so he's the stud yeah. muffin. Yeah. Here, hold him up. Oh. Did you drop no, There he is. Look, hold him up right there. Now yeah. you can see him pretty good. Yeah, and they don't have mm -hmm. stingers, so if you want him when your kids to oh, play. Oh, so you could him. pet him. Yeah, you could pick this one up and it's kinda like yeah. the carpenter bees. Right. The yeah. carpenter bees with white dots won't sting you. Yeah, so you can, you can play with that. They're real gentle. Oh, I have a bee inside. Oh, you do? Okay, yeah, don't mm -hmm. care. We'll fix that. <laughs> Just don't move. wonder how that one got in. I don't know. Let's walk over here. Let's get him out. Because I've had to have it in. I'm going to cry. <laughs> uh, I have more than one in here. So there's a one in there. Okay. Yeah, so they're doing the same thing, fanning for that queen. No stings, <laughs> and it's gone. So I did okay. There's you some more beautiful oh, comb. Oh, love it, love it, love it. Look, y'all. That's like the real deal. They made that. Now, what's the next step after this? Those bees, uh, after they find out the queen's still in there, 
they all start, uh, uh, since there is an actual, if, if there wasn't any comb in there, like those are blank frames, they would start making wax and building comb. But since I already have comb in here, they'll probably start cleaning it and getting it ready for her to lay eggs in it. They'll probably take this in in a day or two. So you'll have to be back out here in a day or two and to, check to fill this up because that's how fast they'll take it. On a new hive like this. We were talking earlier about uh, hive beetles, and I'll show you that's one thing. Uh, they'll come in, and, and if you give them too much of this where they don't eat it fast enough, they'll. I like for them to eat this in about a week or two. High beetles will come and lay eggs in this, and, and then you have oh, a lot wow. of Oh, yeah. wow. So you need to be careful. I've had that happen. Mm -hmm. Lay that in there on top. And then- And I'll, they'll eventually, it won't take them long to settle in to where, where the queen is. Yeah, so she, and I, I mean, they may release her tomorrow and uh, she might be laying in a day or two. So um, that that's why in three days I'll just come out and make sure that she's laying and, and it's good. And then you don't have to do really anything except for keep feeding them. And then the real- So how, how long will you feed them? Because you said some people don't feed them at all. Some people don't feed them all. I do and I keep doing it until usually they get this all filled up good uh, where she's laying good down here. And then when it gets about 70% full, so like seven frames of bees, then I'll add another box. Mm -hmm. So when you add a box, you just take this off, mm -hmm. add a box, and use this as the lid to that box, right. and they build up. And mm -hmm. if you don't have any comb, if you're putting a second box on and it's just empty frames, I would take one, and I'll show you what a brew frame looks like. I would take one of those brood frames and move it up to the second box. That'll for force those nurse bees to come up because they have to protect and, and heat and feed that larva and everything. So they will come up there and then they'll start building wax on those other frames. So that's one little trick you can do to get them to make. And if you want them to make wax, you do need you need to feed them, or I think you do, and I do do it if you want them to start building wax. If that's because you're out, a daddy and daddies feed their babies. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> that's so and that's how fast you can uh, have two hives uh, and have them going. Crazy. And, You'll have a land queen in probably three days. And I haven't looked at this hive. Uh, this is, I looked at it once. This is a, a package of carny bees that I installed probably two weeks ago. So this is only about, I think, uh, about two weeks old. So I just, these aren't too wild, but I'll just puff them with a little smoke. Okay. I hope everything's still good in here. I haven't looked at <laughs> Okay. Oh, yeah. look. Okay. So, and a lot of people will, when they pull off the lid, they're always, almost always be bees on the lid. And I've never found a, a queen on the lid, but they always say, look, just to make sure. Uh, so it's just good to do that. I just never have seen one on there. <laughs> this is a 10 frame hive. So the first thing I do, so you have space to work and you don't smash any bees, because you definitely don't want to smash the queen. So you take the outside frame out. Just go ahead and take this one out. There won't be anything on it. They won't have any honey or nothing. They'll be over here maybe cleaning it. You can see this is just oh, an yeah. old comb. And when they get done with this, it'll look like brand new. Really? Yeah, so you can put an old comb in there and, and they'll fix it, it's fine. And then slide these over. There probably won't be anything on these. Oh my gracious. So see all this, this right here is just a frame of nectar. You can see all the nectar in here. So the, the queen most likely won't be on this frame. She'll most likely be in the middle. Uh, but I always check real quick. This is just nectar. And that's just a queen cup. Uh, you can look, there won't be anything in it. They just do those. Practice. Uh, yeah. <laughs> so I, always, I smash them, but you don't have to. They'll just rebuild it most likely. Wow. I bet she's right okay. in there. Yeah. So we might be start getting in some brood now. Look at that. So this one, which is getting darker. So I, but you see, this is pollen. You can blow out, but now maybe you see all this pollen. Holy cow. So that's all pollen they brought in. Uh, th and see this bee down in here depositing stuff. Uh, and I'm looking, and so the queen's not on here. Yes, but this is all nectar and um, I don't see any eggs on this one. So, but you're right, man. You can see them working. Yeah. Um, and if you see the eggs, that's most likely where the queen is. Because uh, uh, Maybe on the next one. That means she's probably been there within 24 hours, so you know she's close. 
So this one will probably have some brood on it. All right, here we go. So this is brood, so this is already capped. Look at that. Yeah, so see the larva in here? Oh so the gosh. egg turns into a larva, and then after the larva, they'll cap it, and then it turns into a pupa, and then it'll come out as a baby bee. Which I can show you a baby. Well, this one won't have any baby bees because it's you not. You're a good enough. science teacher, do you? <laughs> you sound a lot yeah. like her. But oh, I, look at this. Yeah, I built some cone down there. I usually mm -hmm. scrape that off. Uh, I keep, try to keep mine as clean as possible, but you don't have to. Mm -hmm. uh, they build comb everywhere. But uh, and you can see right over here. I don't know if that camera can pick these up. These are little eggs. Those I'll are what eggs look front like. Door. Look yeah. at that. Oh, I hope y'all can see that. And so those are standing straight up. So she just laid those. And the queen will lay about in somewhere between 1,000 and 1,500 eggs a day if she has enough. A day. Mm -hmm. So these things will really start to explode here. And I'll show you a hive that's only 30 days old, just how big it can get. God. And let me look on the side. She might be on the other side. Uh, I don't, I'm pretty sure I marked this queen, but I don't see her, so I'm gonna put this Man, one Man, they are working like crazy, aren't they? Yeah, so that's a full sheet of brood there. So she's probably on this frame. Oh, turn her over, I see her. Oh, you see her? Oh, right there she is. Yeah. So here's the queen, and I got her marked. I just mark them because it's easier, and there's a high beetle, so, uh, I kill those anytime I see it. See that little black beetle? Oh, I do. Yeah, I just go ahead and stomp that thing. You don't want those. So, uh, but there's the queen. She's just going around. You can see there'll probably be eggs all in here. And she's just working. I hope y'all can see her. I hope I got the camera on there right. <laughs> this is the neatest thing ever. These are all just nurse bees. Nurse uh, bees. Yeah, I think. These larvae, I think, have to be fed every 15 minutes. So every 15 minutes, 15 they come. 15 minutes, yeah. that's like teenage boys. <laughs> Man, they are beautiful. Look down in there. So everything looks good in this half so far. I'm gonna put another, I put one pollen patty on here and they've already consumed it because I, I don't even see it. So I'll put another one. They eat the wax paper too? Uh, I guess, I don't know. Usually I'll find a little bit of it on the front deck here, but. Um, they I, must have enjoyed it. Yeah, I don't see any of it, but everything looks good. So I, the queen's there, she's laying. Uh, that's really all I need to see. So, so this is only about two weeks old? Yeah, this is young. I just put this one in there, so. And they've already done all that in that short of time. So if you get you, you feed them, they'll build up quick. <laughs> Smoke them down just so I can. I don't want to smash them when I put this on there. And then I'll start eating that. Wow. Smash those those bees back up there. Put it on there. Put the Look at them out. already. good and that's all you gotta do just make sure you got a lane queen and she's in there working they're uh already walking back in there yeah and you could dump a package out you put your queen in there and you just dump your packet put a little towel or a newspaper right there and just dump them all they'll march right in there you can do it that way too i mean you can do it a bunch of different ways uh, well I just they're like... already settling way down over there how do you get a queen bait you can make queens if you want. That's to make, what I was. That's yeah, what I'm asking. So if you want to expand your aviary, and that's that's how I, I did it, you can either ship your queens in or you make your own. It's a whole lot cheaper to make your own. You can take a, a box like this and that has eggs on it, and then take you at least a frame of bees and move it into a nuke box, or you, they make two frame boxes. You can do either or. Put it in there, and then they will make a queen cell out of one of those eggs, and then in 16 days she'll hatch. And you get her then? Well, she's a virgin queen. So she'll she'll stay in the hive for a little bit until she can fly. And then she'll fly out for, you know, anywhere from a day to a couple days. And she'll mate with up to, I think they say like up to 15 different drones. Oh, wow. Yeah. And, then and she, come back? And then she'll come back, hopefully. Because, you know, they can get eaten by birds, they hit by a car. Sure, uh, I think sure. dragonflies eat them. 
uh, you know, so. That would be but hopefully, I've had really good uh, success with uh, the queens coming back. Then they come back, then they got to start laying. So uh, you're looking at about a 30 day. So if I made a split and I put just eggs in there, I wouldn't look back in there for 30 days and I'd come back. And if you have eggs, then you got a, a laying queen and you got another hive. And it was free. It didn't cost you anything. And they know where to come back to because Absolutely. because got, of all they, the pheromones and, and they'll, they'll have a, they come out uh, like these bees right here that we just did uh, the worker bees will come out and they'll do an orientation flight and an so ori they, yeah I think that's what they call it I mean that's crazy yeah, how they will log in to this position it's like their world yeah I can put whatever I want right here they will come right back here so if I move this hive they'll start bunching up right here on this wood. I've had it happen. I've moved them. And they're, Seriously? Yeah. So they're locked into right here. You can, it's, it's, I like it out here because it's, you know, get away from the world. And it's just you and the bees and it's fun. And it is definitely their world. Yeah. I mean, this is. And I'm somebody that, that likes to learn and this is a continuous learning process. Uh, I mean, there's people that have done this, you know, 20, 30 years and they still learning stuff. Still figuring day. it out. Yeah. So it, it's fun. I love it. I love it. Well, y'all, I want to tell Justin thank you for having us out here today. I appreciate it. And luckily, Jordan didn't come, so I didn't get confused. Because in the in the bee garb, I would definitely not know Justin and Jordan. Um, I hope you guys learned something. I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any questions or comments, send me an email. I'll get with the bee man here, and we'll figure it out. Uh, help you any way we can. And hopefully... I don't know if it'll be this year or not, but hopefully I'll be a beekeeper soon. And well, well, I tell you, these uh, beekeeping outfits are really attractive, aren't they? <laughs> Mine came from co-op this morning, and uh, I'm not a, hmm, I'm not a beekeeping. Well, there's a, there's a bee store on 96 called Maple Bend. Are you that, kidding? That's where I got some of my packages, and they sell woodware. They sell. This is where I got this. Yeah, I think there's actually a label on here. Guess uh, where I'm going. <laughs> it's, so it's, that's the closest place to get these stuff. Guess where I'm going this week. I'm going, Highway 96 is like going to Murfreesboro if you're yeah. a local person. So um, anyway, we'll be back in a couple of weeks and check on the new hives. And uh, hopefully we'll check on what it means to rob them. I yeah. don't know if I'm looking forward to that or not. Cause oh, uh, doing the honey is definitely one of the, the, the funnest parts. I think. <laughs> <laughs> one of the stickiest anyway, yeah. right? So y'all, thanks so much for joining us at Life on Hilton Creek today. And y'all remember, you're never alone. Thanks. Bye-bye.